Christopher Berliners the third. Police found this man less than 24 hours after Lance McDowell's death. I'm told he's been behind bars ever since. During a traffic stop, police found what they thought was the murder weapon nearby. While Chris Ayers sat in jail on other charges, investigators tested the weapon until they could connect it to McDowell's death. We had never heard of him until today. He had no connection to my brother. Records show Ayers has a history behind bars. Sad news to Neighborhood Ministries where he volunteered in high school. Grew up here in our programming as an outreach kid uh, from a really difficult childhood and we loved him. The nonprofit's president could not believe it when she saw Ayers' mugshot. This photo was taken almost four years ago, the last time she saw Ayers. I wish what we did do and the investment we did make with Chris growing up had helped him to do and see life differently. That's a great disappointment and a great sadness. She says Ayers worked as their summer intern as a teen. She grieves along with McDowell's family. We're just happy that we have a little closure into what happened. Mm. Like we're not going to be able to bring him back, but at least we know that the person that did this to him is behind bars.